Okay, here's a little bit of making to show you just what you need to do to successfully breed crickets for your lizards or tarantulas and turtles, just whatever you want to do it for. First thing you're going to need is just go to your pet store, uh, buy two dozen crickets, ask them for the biggest ones they have, and they'll probably already be pregnant when you get them. So bring, bring them home. Uh, you can pick up these little shoebox tubs. They're like eight quarts. I got them for a dollar at the pet store. Uh, not the pet store, but the dollar store. One dollar. I got like five of them, but uh, you only need, well, really you need three, but I have this little critter keeper that I keep the adults in. It's just for easy access. But you're going to bring the crickets home. You're going to fill this with just, this is Egor's substrate, but just your average potting soil or anything. Just dirt. Uh, you're going to fill it with there. Put the crickets in there for, give it, I'd say, three days to a week. Just kind of like, whenever you get a chance, look in there and see if you see them laying eggs at all. And uh, after about, let's say, a week, you take the adult crickets out, put them in the other tub or container that you have for them. Just, you're going to want to have a spray bottle. I just got this for $1.50 at the dollar store. Uh, just a little spray bottle to, I just sprayed them, but you're going to spray the soil once a day or whenever it's dry. Don't let it get dry because the eggs will dry up and they won't hatch. Really, some people say you need to heat them. That's I don't heat them because it's really warm in this room. But it's your choice, really. Uh, and you just wait for them to hatch. Once they get a little bit bigger, you could put them in a separate tub to let them grow. And then you could put the adults back in here to lay more eggs until you get to the amount of eggs that you want. And basically just, uh, I use toilet paper rolls and just egg cartons from your, when you run out of eggs, just save the, one of the cartons is all you need and that'll be enough. Just, and a couple toilet paper rolls, they like toilet paper rolls. And, uh, if you keep turtles and stuff, and turtles with fish, you could throw fish flakes and hatchling turtle pellets in there or just crush up big turtle pellets because they're really high in protein and you can gut load the crickets and gut loading is where you give them a lot of protein and food and stuff so that whatever you feed them to gets the protein that is inside of them. So you want them to be high in protein. Um, Yeah, just you spray the adult's cage, or you can use water crystals. Uh, just throw potatoes in there, or fruits, just whatever you choose to feed them. And you just, they're going to be really, really small when they hatch, so you just open it like every day or so and look in there for the little tiny, little tiny crickets jumping around. Um, that's about it, and just keep switching them out and stuff.